nafikiria mambo ya kulima ndizi njoo bibi yangu alikuwa anaenda na ropi alikuwa ananunua ndizi kwa watu akaenda na ropi nikaona anakuja na pesa nikafikiria nipande kama kidogo nilikuwa nimepanda stem kama tuseme 20 ya kunjaribu kwanza nikaona ndizi zimesaa kubwa hapa kwa hiyo 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 kashamba kadogo nilikuwa nimeanza nako kwa hiyo nikafikiria sasa mimi nitaenda kwa kwa ndizi ndio sasa niliamua mimi nitakuwa mkulima wa wa ndizi In Embu County, banana farming is becoming more popular, driven by ready markets and the low level of effort required to maintain plantations. This is despite the challenges of inaccessibility of certified planting materials, pests and diseases among others. This is why the Agricultural Sector Development Support Program ASDSP2 introduced tissue culture bananas better ways of managing plantations and promoted marketing through aggregation centers in Kieni South Ward for example kibana banana growers were supported by the program to set up a banana hardening nursery this initiative has enabled farmers in the region to access high quality tissue culture bananas improving production wametuletea sasa nursery ili sasa wakulima wote wawe wanachukua ndizi hapo na tupande na tukipanda unajua sasa tumeongezea mazao mazao kutoka ile tunauza saa hii iwe iwe tumeongezea mazao training on better banana farming practices was carried out among value chain actors in demonstration plots and farmer field schools most people they were planting bananas yes but the management was not up to standard some of those things were things like manuary things like uh, even digging of the the, the hose they were digging very small and the, the area is dry a bit dry the biggest problem here when i came in was a uh, one the pest and the diseases the second one was the uh, water conservation so that water conservation I've trained them on how they can mulch their, their, their crop and that one has given very positive results. We came up with 10 farmer field schools. These farmer field schools, it's where the value chain actors are going to, were trained using the FFS methodology. Once they are trained, then they will be able now to have the knowledge how to do it in their farms. Tulisoma. Na baada ya kusoma ndio kama mimi sasa nilinjua mambo yao yote unaona sasa nimefa nimefanya. Nimejua kulima, nikajua kupanda, kutunza na na kukata na kupeleka kwa soko. Niko na stem 250 hapa. Nikikata wakati siso niko mzuri kabisa. Nakunja to 800 800 kilos na kama saa hii nakata tuseme 400 500 hapo kila mwezi The increase in banana production came with the need to ensure stability in marketing structures To achieve this the program constructed four banana aggregation centers in Kieni South Mbeti North Mbeti South and Kidimo Wards. Tulipoanza tulikaanza kuuza ndizi. Tulikuwa tunapepa kutoka hapa mpaka Kadhagere. Na tulitumia gari za ngombe. Na huko Kadhagere tulikuwa tukiuza na shilingi tisa. Na ndizi tunauza kwa njua. Lakini kwa hii nyumba ukizipanga hapa kwa hawa wale wananunua sasa wanaona ha ndizi zetu ni nzuri kwa hiyo kuna baina kubwa sana ya hii nyumba the introduction of these aggregation centers has increased the number of banana farmers attracted to the venture because of better prices and timely payments kama wakati huu tunanunuliwa na 
20 20 bob sasa kwa hiyo 20 bob mkulima analipwa na 18 fevute fevute ni akikusaidia kikundi shilingi moja sasa hiyo shilingi moja tunawekea kila mtu kwa account kwa account ya, ya kikundi ikifika wakati wa disemba mkulima atasherekea kwa sababu sile kilo uliuza tulisema hiyo uliuza kilo 1500 hizo hizo itagua sasa ni shilingi 1500 For Elias Gasingo like many other farmers across the county proceeds from banana farming enabled him to construct a decent house for his family Nilikuwa nimeona kwa kani wengi wengi sana wanakuja hapa kwangu na nyumba sio mzuri nikaona sasa acha nijipange na hizi pesa kwanza ni niweka kanyumba kandogo kandogo na kazuri ili hata wakulima wakinja wageni wakinja waone tu ni mboma mzuri We have been able to work with several stakeholders and partners for example we have the hand in hand uh, who are also funded by the same donor the sida we have been able to work with them especially on the issue of uh, business plan training. Our major work is on enterprise development, where we train their value chain actors on entrepreneurship, getting them understand what is a business plan. And uh, we can say we have over 700 uh, business plans that has been uh, adopted by the value chain actors. Agriculture sector is wide. So as a program, uh, we have a coordinating structure called CASCOM, uh, County Agriculture Steering uh, Committee uh, that uh, now looks at how can we coordinate the other actors. Once we are able, be, uh, we are able to coordinate those actors, then we can now look at how do we implement our activities and it will avoid duplication of the activities. We have also been able to train service providers, around 57, that are, I know they will continue to do the trainings. It's a plus for us. Ningitaka kutua shukuren kwa mrandi wa ESDSP kwa mahali sapapu wa metutua mbali na tuvikisha mbali hata nikiwa nikinunua shamba tuseme kama kama eka 10 saa hii siwezi nikapata kitu kingine mimi ningijaribu niweke manji hapo na nipande ndisi peke yake the ASDSP program leaves behind three tissue culture banana hardening nurseries four banana aggregation sheds and 10 banana demonstration plots these among other investments made by the program in Embu County will continuously advance productivity and profitability of the supported value chains many years into the future.